So out of these two everyday items, one can be recycled and one can't. And that's what the big confusion is among Londoners. 86% of people here in the capital are successfully managing to recycle, but 35% say that they don't understand exactly what it is that they can and can't recycle, particularly with plastics. Now here in Borough Market, they have gone some way to try and stop people from um, not reusing their plastic bottles by putting in this refillable plastic water bottle station so that people are reusing their bottles and buying uh, refillable ones instead of going out and buying more plastic. Here to explain exactly what it is that people are getting wrong is Ali Moore from London Recycles. Thank you for being on the programme, Ali. Can you tell Tell me what the common misconception is exactly. Yeah, so we've done a survey recently which shows, as you say, that 86% of Londoners are really committed to tackling their plastic waste. But what we're finding is that there's a mismatch between people really wanting to do the right thing and the kind of knowledge and information that they feel they have in order to recycle basic things at home. So out and about, they're doing really well. They're buying reusable coffee cups and refillable water bottles. At home, there's still quite a lot of confusion about some really basic plastic items that can be recycled and which ones can't. Can you talk me through exactly what some of those items are that people might not realise? Absolutely. So well over a third of people are really confused about um, plastic cleaner, cleaner bottles, you know, the ones with the spray triggers, uh, which are completely recyclable, including the trigger mechanism. Um, and yet over a third of people think that they're not recyclable when they are. So that could be a real win for Londoners just to pop those into their recycling on a regular basis. And then crisp packets. Uh, quite a lot of people seem to think that crisp packets are recyclable, which they're not from your home. Um, and yes, yeah, so things like clear food trays, some people think aren't recyclable and they are. Toothpaste tubes, half of the people we spoke to think they are recyclable, but toothpaste tubes are not recyclable unfortunately, so they're turning up in our recycling and they really shouldn't. And how are you trying to bust these myths about recycling? So today we're launching a campaign called Know Your Plastic, which involves a whole series of social media adverts, which we're pushing out right across London with some really simple, clear advice to help Londoners bridge that gap between their desire to do something about plastic waste and their inability at the moment to do some of those basics at home. So we're sending out those ads over the next two weeks and we're hoping that will really help. We've got a target of hitting 65% recycling across the city by 2030, which is a big ask, but I think that if we all pull together, we could probably make some headway. Ali, thank you so much. As we say, 86% of people in London are recycling. And with that bit more information now, hopefully more and more will be recycling effectively.